Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Greetings once again. Today I'm sharing with you something that we do in our household, which I call a toy swap. Wish I could say I came up with this idea because it is brilliant, but it was passed on to me by a friend. She's a mum of five, so she knows what she's talking about. Now, does this scenario sound familiar to you? Your children have about a billion toys, only about 10% they play with. The rest are just cluttering up their room. You're stepping on them and breaking them. Yet they still always want new toys, and they get new toys, and they play with them for about a week, and then the novelty wears off. Sometimes even faster than a week. I know I am not the only person who finds this. And boy do I have a great solution for you. What we do in our household is we set a limit on the amount of toys our children are allowed to have. In the past we've made it 10. Now 10 might not sound like a lot, however within that we have things that are like group things that come out at certain times, for example a box of puzzles. Also the kids have all their arts and crafts stuff, that's sort of a separate thing. They have their outside toys as well, so everything that's an outside toy stays outside. But that's also a separate thing, so really they do still have a lot of other toys. Their books are not included in that, and we sort of say 10 toys and then like 3 soft toys or you know there's a couple of extra things. And then things like Lego for example, it's not 10 pieces of Lego, that would be a bit harsh. The entire Lego thing is considered one thing. And the kids are really good at sharing their toys as well. There's certain ones that it's like they don't really share, it's their toy, but they do share around their toys a little bit. So if you think you've got four kids, 10 toys each, that's still 40 toys floating around your house. Like I said, to start with, how children had, oh, like a million toys, things just accumulate, and you would know this. They get toys from friends, they, you know, have birthdays, they get stuff from school as prizes, and just like, we say 10 toys and then like a month later each kid will have like 10, 20 toys and it's like where did all of these come from so yeah you start off with a billion toys we store all the toys in boxes and then every maybe two months um we bring out all the toys in the bedroom and all the toys in the boxes that have been stored and the kids get to go through them all and pick which toys they would like to have for their next time period. We also change over things like the books. In a moment you will get to see how this process works. It's a bit chaotic, um, but it's lots of fun. I find the kids will open up the boxes and they'll see toys that they haven't played with for a month or two that they've probably forgotten they even had. And they get so excited and they're like, oh yeah, this toy, and it's much cheaper than buying them new toys all the time. And even though they're not new toys, it sort of is still that new experience. And it's the whole novelty thing where, oh, we've got this toy that we haven't played with for ages. And again, like the novelty often wears off after a little while. But at least you're doing that with a toy that you had already bought. So it's not one that you have just paid for and then just gets added to their pile of a whole bunch of other toys. This also really helps with keeping rooms clean because if they only have a few toys, they can have every single toy out and it still gets surprisingly messy and they'll be all over the floor but then you ask them to pack up, it takes them like 10 minutes and their room is spotless. It's fantastic, it really is. <laughs> Though somehow my daughter still manages to have like a super messy room, I don't know how she does it, but anyway. They will have favorite toys that they might decide they had had for the previous couple of months but they still want to keep and that's fine. I usually take a bit of a step back in this process and just let them decide what they want to keep. My five-year-old does need a little bit of guidance. Yeah, probably from sort of, depending what your child's like, five or six downwards, they do need a bit of guidance. And my two-year-old has no idea so I just pick the toys for her and I just pick what I know she'll like. So this is various Lego. We've got a marble track, we've got like a train set thing, blocks, and these are the books that have been in storage. These are the books that are so neatly and nicely packed on the bookshelf that we will be swapping over. What do we got? We got Hatchimals, <laughs> various toys, board games, 
yeah, just random. What is even in here? Ooh, Mario toys. Are they? I don't know. I think we could pick a few of those and they could count as one. Maybe like five Mario toys. Um, See, like look how excited he is. And then we didn't even have to buy new toys. So part of this is the kids getting all the toys out of their room. So Rachel will have to bring everything out into the lounge room in order to do the toy swap. And this is good for example, Rachel made all these wonderful beautiful paper airplanes which is great and she would hold on to them forever but honestly she hasn't played with them since about two days after she made them <laughs> um, so now she gets to make the decision of does she want to keep that as part of her 10 toys and chances are no which means we get to get rid of them yay less clutter so everyone's got a little box that they can fill with their toys. See, and this is fun where the kids bring out things and they're like, ooh, look at this, look at this. These are my three toys. Mm-hmm. All right. Now, Zoe has her Santru. Do you want to show everyone Santru? So he has been part of her toy swap every single time for quite a while because this is a special toy. And what else did you pick, Zoe? Hey, stop chewing your half a castle. DJ Diamond! Monopoly! <laughs> My Monopoly! Well, Ben can have it as part of his toys if he wants. Oh, oh dear. Monopoly. Yeah, it can be a messy process. Okay, so Zoe's got a little castle in here. She's picked a ukulele. She's got a treasure map. And some soft toys. We counted a few of these as one toy. So she's got like five of those little ones, which is one toy. And I'm guessing they're all going to play in the castle. I have a one, two, three. Three things. Wow, cool. So you've got a long ways to go. Now, Zoe has picked her 10 things, however she is free to keep exploring and she might find something that she decides she wants and in that case she can swap over um, one of her 10 things that is in here with something else that she finds. Yeah, right. I might trade it with something. You're trading that with something. Trade it with the guitar maybe, ukulele. Okay, well it's Ben can have the guitar. Like well Zoe, keep in mind if Ben has it, he can share it with you. So that can be something that you play with. And that's also another musical instrument. Yeah. So how about me and Ben share? Yes, yeah. look. Midnight and this are nearly identical. So this is where they sort of technically have more than ten toys because if they share them. Okay, so Ben's got some games. He's got a bed for his muse. He's got two swords. <laughs> Really? So you would be happy with less than 10? That's good. That shows contentment. Remember that your iPod is one of your 10 toys. Oh, uh, and my headphones? That counts as part of the iPod. All right, let me go get them. Here I come. iPod and headphones. And now it's time to get onto the books. Yes. Yeah, so let's start by figuring out which books that are already out that we want to keep out. And then we can pick some new books to get out from the box. And now, look how simple and easy it's going to be for Ben to keep his room clean. He's got his little reading nook and he's just got his guitar and his swords. And he's got his board games. And down here is his box of various things. I He's even got... put my rock collection there. Yeah. And my books are in here. Oh, your books are in there. There you go. So he's got his books in there. And he's got his Lego down there. And just think how easy it is for him to keep his room clean now. And the added bonus to this is that the children are entertained all afternoon 
by what feels like the new toys that they have. Ben discovered a book that he forgot he had, which he is now absorbed in. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. Zoe, get a Pikachu. Ah! That is so cute. It's adorable.